Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Pedogenomics Chemistry. I'll continue to my lectures on amino acids in that particular video, so like a biomolecule bio series. Okay, now in previous cases, I will discuss to like a basic introduction, like classifications, like a, like a, like a, like a structures of amino acids. Okay, in recent videos, I I'll uploaded the like a synthetic methods of amino acids. Okay, some of the synthetic methods I'll uploaded, like a Gabriel Thalamide, like a Strecker synthesis, those type of methods. Okay, now but in this I will discuss the, some of the chemical reactions of amino acids. So, in general, amino acid is a bifunctional, bifunctional compound. That means it having the amine functionality and it having the carboxylic acid functionality. So, in general, so these type of amino acids, like NH2, can give the like their corresponding reactions. COOH can also give the their corresponding reactions. Again, third case is also there. That is, both are combinedly to give the like another type of reactions. Okay, now in this session, we will discuss the, those chemical reactions with respect to NH2, with respect to COOH, with respect to both are combined together. Okay, now before going to the chemical reaction, now I would like to discuss the like a simple peptide synthesis. So, why we are discussing those chemical reactions? So, now here it is the like a COOH, CH, or NH2. This is the one of the alpha amino acid. So now again we will discuss this like the another compound that is a CHR here it is the NH2. Let us assume. So here these two are the like a two different alpha amino acids. These two are combined together with respect to the DCC reagent. So here the DCC is a dehydrating agent. Now here these two are lost by the water molecule and it gives the this type of structure. CHR like NH C double bond O CH or NH2. So now here it gives the like amide functionality. Okay. So this is called a peptide bond. This is called a peptide bond. We will discuss the those synthesis of peptide in uh, lateral classes. Now here it is the peptide bond. So whenever these two like a two co two combination of uh, amino acids will give the peptide linkage. So in generally, so here it having the acidic functionality again it having the NH2 functionality. They both are also re reacted to to another like uh, reacted to the reagent. It gives the some other undesired product. Okay, due to that problem, we will protected these two groups. That is called uh, like a uh, chemical reaction stuff like NH2 and COOH. So uh, generally, so these two groups are protected and followed by the uh, protect of uh, protection followed by the DCC reagent. Uh, we will get the like this type of peptide linkage. After getting the peptide linkage, we will be protected those two functional group. We will get the like uh, our desired product. Okay, this is the simplest synthesis of peptide. Now let us go through the reactions with the uh, NH2 functionality. Okay, now let us uh, discuss the like a uh, reaction with uh, NH2 functionality. Reaction with uh, now let us assume here it is the A reaction with. Uh, NH2 functionality, NH2 functionality. So in generally, so the first reaction of a, like a reaction with NH2. So in generally, let us assume here it is the one of the amino acid that is simplest amino acid is glycine. So glycine which is treated with a like a strong acid. So in generally, like amino acid will appear so like a, a dipolar ion. Okay, dipolar ions will treat it with a strong acids. Now we will get the like a CH2, COOH. Now here it is NH3 plus as usual. So now here it happens in the formation of like a COO minus group will protonate it with the help of strong acid and it will give the like a COOH functionality. Again it appears like a cation. So okay, now cation will move towards the quite opposite charged electrode. Okay, so this is the general reaction which are already discussed over the like a isoelectric point topic. Okay, now let us go through the second lecture, second point that is a reaction with a, okay, first one reaction with the acids, now the second one is a reaction with a nitrous acid. Okay, now here let us assume here it is the like a simplest compound which is also glycine, which is treated with a nitrous acid that is a NOH minus like here NO plus OH minus and NO plus okay now here it is the electrophile OH minus is the nucleophile okay so NH2 NO plus it, it will give the like a, a, a diazo salt okay generally primary amines will treat it with a, like NO plus nitrosyl plus then it will it will give the or N2 plus as a salt okay diazonium salt okay so amine 
treated with the nitrosyl group then it gives the diazonium salt followed by the any nucleophile attack of the any nucleophile it will give the nucleophile attached or group nucleophile attached or group in generally in this case of like a reaction with a nitrosyl acid now here NO plus will treat it with NH2 then it gives the like a corresponding N2 plus CH2 COOH okay so after the following addition of nucleophile here N2 plus will replace it by the nucleophile our nucleophile is OH now we will get the corresponding alcohol corresponding alcohol it is the best method to determine the quantitative analysis of amino acid okay in generally uh, like uh, generally one mole of nitrous acid will give the one amine group uh, that is a normal normal point but uh, some of the standard books they are given in the one and a half of the one and a half unit of the nitrosyl acid will give the one amine functionality from amino acid okay so one amino group of amino acid functionality will treat it with one and a half of the uh, nitrosyl acid nitrous acid function nitrous acid reagent it will give the one mole equivalent of the corresponding alcohol okay that is the quantitative analysis not only nitrosyl alcohols so nitrous acids now nitrosyl halides are also treated with this type of compound that is the reaction third reaction with the nitrosyl acids nitrosyl halides sorry okay so now NOCl or NOBr it will give the corresponding compounds only in previous manner okay it is very easier quite easier okay so it gives the corresponding halides only now the fourth reaction fourth reaction reaction with formaldehyde reaction with formaldehyde okay now here NH2 CH2 COOH so in general here amine function group it having the basic nature whenever it is treated with a C double bond OH then here the loss of water molecule here two hydrogens from amine group one oxygen from formaldehyde group and it gives the CH2 double bond C like nitrogen CH2 COOH okay so in general amine functionality it having the basic nature but whenever it is formed with a like a unsaturation with a, like a formaldehyde now it it lost their basic character now the compound is acidic in nature compound is acidic in nature this is the fourth reaction now let us discuss the final reaction okay now the fifth reaction that is a sanger's test fifth reaction that is fifth one that is a Sanger's test so which is also nothing but which is also called as a 2,4 dinitro okay fluoro NO2 NO2 2,4 dinitro fluorobenzene 2,4 dinitro fluorobenzene so in lower class of students it is a very uh, useful topic which is the Sanger's reagent okay 2,4 dinitro, dinitro fluorobenzene okay this is the reason now in this case here which is used for the determination of a peptide n terminal peptide linkage okay in peptide series it is useful for the determination of a n terminal amino acid n terminal amino acid now let us uh, simply we will discuss the these sanger's reagent now here it is the like the nh2 functionality here it is the ch or here it is the cooh okay now in generally here it is the fluoro group, NO2 group, NO2 group. This is nothing but 2,4 dinitro fluorobenzene, or it, it is also called as a Sanger's reagent. Now, uh, it, it, these two are reacted with together. Now, here one of the hydrogen from NH2 group and fluorine from the Sanger's reagent, here it is eliminated as HF. Now, it gives the corresponding compound, corresponding aromatic compound. So, here NO2, here NO2, so NH like CHR COOH so here it is the formation so here we have the like a several types of peptide linkage CHR COH okay in similar case CHR COH okay this type of CHR and COOH this type of a large series of peptide linkage is there now whenever these Sanger's reagent will which is added to the those peptide compounds so our Sanger's reagent selectively attack the like a terminal amino acid only terminal amino acid only so after the addition of our reagent here and it undergoes now here it attacks the Sanger's reagent now after that here it had hydrolyzed this reaction will hydrolyze now we will get the like a terminal NH2 functionalized amino acid so after the removal of our reagent we will get the like a terminal 
amino acid of the peptide series. This is the best method to determine the young terminal amino acid in a peptide series. Okay, this is the fifth reaction. Now let us discuss the like uh, protecting and deprotecting groups of uh, NH2 functionality. Okay, now these uh, these are uh, very simple reactions with respect to the NH2 group. Uh, now we will discuss it the very important reaction that is the protection of amine group in amino acid. As after the protection, we will get the like our our desired uh, like a protein compound. After the getting of those protein compound, we will uh, eliminate the protecting group that is called a deprotection. Okay, so now let us discuss with those two protection and deprotection of NH2 functionality. Okay, now here. Here it is the NH2, here it is the CHR, like COOH, CHR, COOH, okay, which is treated with a, like a CH3COCl or CH3COOCOCH3. This is acyl chloride or acetic anhydride. These two are the best acylating agents, best acylating agents. So, however, nitrogen lone pairs will attack over the like electrophilic center of uh, acyl group or uh, acetic anhydride group. Okay, now here the bonded two electrons will shift towards the more electronegativity atom. So, due to the more electronegativity, it, it returns into the carbon atom. Now, after that, it is, it is eliminated. In this case, also same. Here, COO minus is eliminated. That COO minus will abstract the proton from NH2 functionality. It is eliminated as CH3COOH. In this case, here it is eliminated as HCl. Okay, now here one of the proton is eliminated from the NH2. Now here it appears like NH C double bond O CH3. Okay, now here CHR COOH. Now here also COO CH3 NH CHR. COOH, CH or COOH. These are the acylating agents. These are the acylating agents. Not only acylating agents, we will use the like benzylating agents. In general, we will take the like a simple amino acid that is a glycine. Okay, glycine will treat it with benzyl chloride. Now here it appears like this type of compound, CH2 COOH, which is also called as like a ipuric acid. Hippuric acid. In general, hippuric acid, which is uh, identified in the horse urine, horse urine. Okay, which is uh, identified in horse urine. That is nothing but hippuric acid. Okay, so these are the like acylation and benzylation reactions. One, two. That means here it is the sixth, seventh one. Now eighth reaction. We will discuss the like a protection and deprotection. That is CBZCl. CBZ. CL that is chlorine double bond O O benzyl. Okay, so now here phenyl attached CH2 is called benzyl, benzyl oxy carbonyl chloride, benzyl oxy carbonyl chloride. So benzyl oxy carbonyl chloride, carboxyl chloride. So simply it is called as a CBZ. Okay, now here it is the benzyl group, here it is the carboxyl group, benzyl carboxyl that is a CBZ functionality. Okay, now however. NH2 will treat it with a uh, like amino acid COOH. This is simply it is written as a CBZCL. CBZCL. Now here one of the hydrogen from NH2 and chlorine from CBZ group. Here HCl is eliminated. Now we will get the this type of compound NHCBZ. Here CH or COOH. CH or COOH. Okay. Now I'll I'll write the complete structure of this compound NH CH or COOH. Now here that is uh, that is the compound C double bond O O like a phenyl. This type of benzyl group. So after getting the this compound that is a protection. So this COOH another amino acid will combine together with in the presence of DCC dicyclohexyl carbodiamide. We will get the peptide linkage. After getting of the peptide linkage, so definitely we will remove the this CBZ functionality. So after the peptide bond formation, now we will use the deprotection reagents. That is the process is called deprotection. So now in this case deprotection of uh, these type of groups 
groups uh, in the presence of H2-palladium, that is hydrogenolysis reaction. Now here, in this case, this heteroatom will use the hydrogenolysis reaction. Here it is H and here it is the H. Phenyl CH2, another H, that is nothing but a phenyl CH3, that is toline. Okay, not only toline, now we will get the NHCOOH, like here CHR. COOH. After, after heating the reaction, we will get the like NH2 CH or COOH. So, first of all, we will protect the amino group after the formation of uh, our peptide linkage. And now, we will deprotect the same amino group. This is the like sub eighth method. Now, not only CBZ functionality, we will use the another two important reagents that is BOC, FMOC. BOC and FMOC. Okay, now here eighth is the CBZ functionality. Ninth one is um, like a BOC functionality. So BOC taken twice. This is the functional group that is a tertiary butyl oxy. Okay, now here the, this is the generally it is the anhydride group, ester anhydride. Okay, tertiary butyl oxy. Tertiary butyl oxy, okay, oxy carbonyl oxide, carbonyl, okay, BOC. Again, these two functional groups which are connected to the single oxygen, tertiary butyl oxy compound, okay. Now, however, NH2 CHR COOH, which is treated with our BOC taken twice O. Okay, one of the BOC, BOC functional group which is protected the our amine functionality NHBOC. Now we will get the, this type of compound or uh, CH or COOH which is a protected amino acid which is a protected amino acid. After the protect, protecting these type of functional groups, we will add it the like a uh, much more like peroxy peroxy compounds or HCl or HBr type of acids. Not only peroxy acids, we will we will use the like uh, simple HCl and HBr acids. Uh, this BOC functional group will be protected. Now here NH CH or COOH is also there. NH2 CH or COOH. Okay, this type of uh, like a uh, tertiary butyl oxy ethers can easily be protected in the presence of uh, like a peroxy acids so CF3 COOH. This is the ninth reaction. Now the final reaction is that is the FMOC FM FMO C chloride. So it is a simply this is compound benzene. Okay, so two benzenes which are connected together, five membered uh, like aliphatic ring. So now here, this is called fluorinyl. This is called methyl. This is called oxy carbonyl. Okay, chloride. Simply fluorinyl methyl oxy chloride. F M O C. The FM versus CL. Okay, this is also a function, a protecting group for the amino acid, particularly NH2. NH2 CHR COOH, which is treated with FM OC CL. So now here CL and H, which is eliminated like CHCL. Now here it is NH FM OC, which is treated with CHR and COOH, CHR and COOH. After getting the like a peptide link, uh, linkage, now here we, we, we will not get the peptide linkage. First of all, we will protect the compound. So after this COOH functional group, we will treat it with any another amino acid. We will get the a particular uh, like a peptide linkage. After getting the uh, particular peptide linkage, we will be protected this functional group uh, in the presence of piperidine. Not the piperazine, it is a piperidine. Okay, in case of piperidine, we will uh, get the our original compound as usually. That is NH2 functionality. Okay, so these are the like a protecting and deprotecting groups. First is acylation, benzylation, CBZCL, BOC taken twice O, as well as FMOC CL. These ten. Okay, now here these five. In previous cases, we will discuss the five total ten reactions with respect to the NH2 functional group. Now let us discuss the like a. Another functional group reaction that is a COOH functional group reaction. Okay, now uh, 
before going to the zero over H reactions, I'll discuss the final reaction with respect to the NH2. That is here NH2, CH or and COOH which is treated with a stronger HI. Okay, now we will get the like corresponding or CH2, COOH with the elimination of uh, like uh, ammonium compounds, ammonium derivatives. So this is the final reaction that I think it is 11th reaction. Maybe uh, numbers are uh, subsequently, please ignore the numbers. Then follows the only like a conceptualization of these amino acid reactions. Now let us discuss the reactions with the B, reactions with the COOH functionality. Okay, COOH functionality. So in previous cases, we will treat it with dipolar ion with the acid. We will get the corresponding uh, protonated carboxylic acid with a cation. Now in this case, we will treat it with the same dipolar cation dipolar cation with in the presence of base in the presence of a base here base will abstract the proton from a ammonium cation now we will get the nh2 ch2 coo minus here the minus which is a uh, like uh, surrounded by the uh, like na plus cation okay in this case we will get the anion the quite opposite uh, charged electrode here it moves towards quite opposite charged electrode this is the first reaction reaction with base reaction with uh, Base. Now, in, in second case, that is a esterification reaction. Esterification reaction, which is nothing but a protecting group of a protecting group of COOH functionality in amino acid. Okay. In generally, amino acid directly cannot protect it. Okay. So, amino acid of fun, amino acid function group of COOH directly cannot protect it. So, now here it is NH2, CH or here the COOH, COOH. So, here it appears like this type of uh, like a uh, dipolar cation, this type of dipolar cation, which is treated with, first of all, which is treated with the acid. In previous cases, we will discuss these yeah, with the help of these uh, acidic reagent. Our COO minus will protonate at the like a H plus, then it becomes COOH. Now, here CH or here it is the NH3 plus, here it is the NH3 plus. So, here these uh, protonated carboxylic acid will give the subsequent uh, esterification. Now, here these uh, COO minus ion it gives the like a, a very slower esterification reaction. That's why, here, first of all, it is protonation takes place. First of all, it, it gives the protonation so after getting the protonation we will treat it with any type of like alcohols or benzoylic alcohols or ethyl alcohol methyl alcohol such type of alcohols we will get the ch or co o r here it is also r there that's why i'll represent the roh with the r dash here it is the nh3 plus these plus will surrounded by the like our negative cation negative cation so after the after getting of these type of ester functionality we will get the like we will uh, treat it with a silver compound silver hydroxide as sil silver compound now we will get the like a, a nh2 NH2 CH or COO R dash COO R dash. So these three steps which are involved in the protection of uh, our carboxylic acid functionality. So after protecting the carboxylic acid functionality in amino acid, we will use the like a basic medium compound. Base will treated with carbo directly treated with car our carb like ester functionality. We will get the like our original deprotected COO acid, COOH. In previous cases, we will use a different reagent for deprotecting of NH2 functionality. But in this case, we will use the very simple compound that is a basic compound for deprotection of the like a carboxylic acid functionality in amino acid. Now, I give the very simple few of the reactions regarding to the our protecting and deprotecting group. Now, here it is NH2 like a alanine compound alanine compound which is treated with C2H5OH in presence of the acidic medium okay that's why I mentioned the acidic medium so we will get the like NH2 and the CHCH3 so here COO C2H5 so followed by the OH minus we will get the our corresponding compound okay COO was like OH okay not only C2H5 we will use it the like a phenyl CH2OH that is benzylic alcohol okay so here benzylic alcohol are also protected the CH COOH functionality COOH functionality COO CH2 phenyl COO CH2 phenyl after using the basis we will get the our corresponding COOH functional group only functional group only these are the uh, like a protecting group with respect to the COOH so now let us discuss the final some of the few reactions regarding to the our carboxylic acid functionality
And now let us discuss the third reaction that is the like reaction with a barium dihydroxide barium dihydroxide NH2CH2COOH which is treated with barium dihydroxide which is treated with barium dihydroxide here CO2 group which is eliminated with a barium compound like a barium CO3 plus water molecule so one of the OH minus again one of the H plus from the another OH will eliminate it as water so the remaining oxygen which is eliminated with respect to the CO2 so BAO CO2 will eliminate it as BaCO3, BaCO3. Now we will get the like NH2. Here hydrogen will shift it towards the CH2. That means uh, it appears like CH3. It appears like CH3. Let us examine ourselves. Here it is the like alanine compound COOH. So which is uh, treated with uh, like uh, our barium dihydroxide. What will happen? What we get the like uh, amine? CH2, CH3, this is ethylamine, this is ethyl, I mean, this is methylamine, okay. So, this is the reaction with uh, barium, sulf, barium hydroxide, here we used the, some of the, like a heating condition. Now, the final reaction with respect to the carboxylic acid, that is a reduction reaction, okay. Now, here NH2, CH2, COOH. Okay, so in generally reduction reagent, the most widely used re reducing agent is lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride here it uh, produces the four moles of hydrogens. Here they will, with the help of four moles of hydrogen, first of all COOH will will reduce it to the CHO. That CHO furtherly reduces into CH2OH. Okay, here COOH directly it converts the CH2OH. Here cannot stop the at uh, aldehyde or carbonyl position carbonyl position now we will get the like nh2 ch2 like this type of uh, like uh, here ch2 oh okay two amino ethanol two amino ethanol this type of compounds we will get okay these are the like reactions with the nh2 as well as the COOH functionality if there is any possibility i'll upload another video on reaction with amino acid that is uh, both uh, like nh2 and COOH functionality that's all for this video if you like the video please share and subscribe the channel okay thank you for watching